Hello students, uh, today we will start with question number 7. The question follows, cells are the basic structural unit of living organisms. Explain. This is the correct statement or this is a true statement. This is a universal fact. So in order to explain, we have to say that uh, cell constitute various components of plants and animals. Of course, we are well aware that uh, in cell there are so many cell organelles. A cell is the smallest unit of life and is capable of all living functions. Cells are the building blocks of life. This is the reason why cells are referred to as the basic structural and functional unit of life. A structural means cells are having a particular shape. Of course, I am not talking about amoeba which doesn't have a fixed shape but rest of the cells are having a definite shape and uh, they perform specific functions. Functions like this, um, take food, digestion is also seen and uh, along with digestion absorption and excretion is also seen in the cell. So cell is considered as the basic structural and functional unit of life. Students, uh, the next question is explain why chloroplasts are found only in plant cells. The reason behind is that uh, in plant cells, the presence of plastids are seen. The green color pigment plastids are seen only in the plant cells. So, chloroplasts are found only in the plant cell. And uh, these plastids, they are having chlorophyll. They trap the solar energy which can be utilized in the manufacturing of food for the plants. So that's why chloroplasts are only found in the plant cell. Below you can see a picture uh, related with the absorption of solar energy by the plants. In the leaf, green pigment uh, Chlorophyll is found which is capable of trapping the solar energy. This has been shown in the picture. And by the help of that solar energy, carbon dioxide from the air and water and minerals from the soil, uh, plants are capable of making their food. Now this is a crossword puzzle. You have to go through it. If you are having any doubt, then do ask me. Below you can see a question related with uh, the difference between the plant and animal cell. This is the most important question of this chapter. You have to draw the diagram of animal cell and plant cell. You can take the help of this picture for drawing. And you have to write uh, at least two differences between plant cell and animal cell. Uh, dear students, you can see the vacuole which is present in the plant cell is much much bigger than that of the animal cell. In plant cell uh, you can find Chloroplast which is not seen in the animal cell. In plant cell you can find cell wall which is not seen in the animal cell. These are the basic differences between plant cell and animal cell. The vacuole which is present in the plant cell is very large which is very small or diminished in the animal cell. In animal cell vacuole may be absent. So you have to write uh, two to three differences between plant cell and animal cell as well as you have to draw the picture also. Below you can see some uh, differences. In uh, animal cell they are generally small in size. In plant cell they are usually larger than the animal cell. And cell wall is absent in the animal cell well as cell wall, whereas cell wall is present in the plant cell. Vacuoles are small in size whereas vacuoles are larger in size in the plant cell. No other animal cell possesses plastids except for the protozoans euglena, whereas plastids are present in almost all the plant cells. So that's all about that's all about uh, this chapter. From the next uh, class, we will start a new chapter. Thank you.